Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up on FST News, find out all about how you can prepare for the ACTs. Also find out how some Falcons are being kind around the hill. All of this and more today on FST News. Falcons, today is Thursday, February 16th. I'm Jocelyn Perez. And I'm Angela Ely. With ACTs right around the corner, many of you juniors out there might be stressing about how you're going to score. For any students that feel they need some extra help preparing for the ACTs, you may be interested in the ACT Weekend Long Prep Camp, hosted by tutors across America. There there will be two weekend prep camps available this month, the first at Silverado High School from the 17th to the 19th, and the second at Desert Oasis High School from the 24th to the 26th. The 20-hour 20 20 hour weekend camp is normally $299, but with the coupon co code ACT Prep Camp, you will see $50 off. Past classes have averaged four to seven point improvements. UNLV is in room 503 right now wrapping up the college visits for the week. If you signed up but aren't there now, make sure to make your way over after <coughs> FST News. Scholarship information is always available on Foothill's website, foothillhenderson.com. The new scholarships were just posted, including the Sons and Daughters of Aaron Scholarship, which is open to students from both Basic and Foothill. For more information, see Jeff Doyle in the Counseling Office. All week long, Student Council has challenged Foothill to random acts of kindness with posters around school. Now, FST News is challenging baseball to do something kind. During both lunches today, we'll be walking around and giving out lays, and we want baseball to one-up us. Good luck. Remember to tweet about your acts of kindness using hashtag FHSKindness. For all your future leaders out there, we have the perfect opportunity for you. Student body government applications are available in room 252 for anyone interested in joining. If you're accepted, you can take part in such activities such as planning dances, spirit weeks, fundraisers, making posters, and more. Applications to join Student Body are due Friday to teacher Wyatt Aping. If you have any questions, see him in room 735. We've all tried to fit way too many people into a selfie, but sometimes our arms just aren't long enough. Lucky for seniors, the senior panoramic photo is scheduled for Friday on the football field during third hour. Don't miss out because it's your only chance to take a picture with the entire class of 2017. Not even a selfie stick could fit all those people into a frame. Seniors, make sure to have fun with it. You can twin and coordinate your outfit with all your best friends. Coming up after the break, find out what sports intramurals is counseled for today. Sports starts now. What's up, Falcons? I'm Zoe Hodge. And I'm Keiko Onihau. We're bringing you the latest news in sports. Starting off with men's volleyball today, freshman and JV start at 2 and go to 4. Returning players start at 4 and go to 6. Just a reminder, tryouts are at 9 days, so get ready and <laughs> hyped for the new season ahead. <laughs> From the course to the track, track intramurals was canceled today. That's all the sports we have for you today, Falcons. Catch us tomorrow for, new, for more news about your Foothill athletes. Now back to Angela at the desk. Thanks, guys. Hey, Joss, you know you look really pretty today. Thanks. You're welcome. 
Today is National Do a Grouch a Favor Day. If you see someone looking grumpy, try and give them a compliment or even just a smile. If you know someone who's having a bad day, take them out for lunch or maybe a movie. Be a good friend. And since it's Kindness Week, again, make sure to tweet out your grouch favors with hashtag FHSKindness. That's all the news we have for you today. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at FST News. Now for a special guest. From all of us here at FST News, have a non-grouchy day. Stay tuned after the break for a special newscast from the FST News First Years. We'll be right back. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, February uh, 9th, 2017. I'm Amy Fucci. And I'm Tristan Meng. The CTSD Board of Trustees are coming together to create a home and calendar for the 2017-2018 school year. This will include more days off from school and longer breaks. School will start earlier on August 14th, so our midterms will be before winter break, the calendar will be released later this year. 2017 is a promising year when it comes to movies with the upcoming release of Cars 3, Pirates of the Caribbean 5, the live action remake of Beauty and the Beast, Thor Ragnarok, Alien Covenant, and many more. So make sure you save up enough money for all those movie trips. Recently, NASA has taken us to Pluto to see some pretty amazing things. FST News reporter Haley Madrill tells us more. Oh, and then takes her voice over. Just keep reading. Okay. NASA recently posted a video simulation landing on Pluto. It is called New Horizons Imagining a Landing on Pluto. Every photo shown has been taking over six weeks. It, it starts with Pluto and its biggest moon, Karen, in the distance, and the video seems as if you are diving straight into Pluto's uh, icy mountains. New Horizons has been surf surfing through our galaxy for more than nine years and has traveled for three million miles. New Horizons is constantly taking photos while it moves. The details in this video are really out of this world. A new debate has sparked the question of whether school is designed in the behavior of girls or not. A recent study in the Journal of Human Resources states that some teachers factor good behavior into grades, and it is a so behave better than boys. A providing point for this study is how boys will likely score higher standardized tests, yet are less likely to attend college to get, get good grades or take advanced classes. However, let your, don't let that discourage you from trying your hardest and doing your best. 3D printers are an amazing advancement in technology. They are able to create many different things that are available. Soon, the 3D printers may be able to do something that can save lives. 3D printers are said to be able to print artificial body parts, such as hearts and kidneys. If a patient required a transplant and a donor was not available, they would be able to create an artificial organ for the transplant. This advancement will make a huge difference in the medical world if done. The refugee crisis is still a problem to this day, with so many refugees moving to different countries. However, Starbucks may be able to offer financial relief for 10,000 possible refugees. When Starbucks released the news that uh, it would hire 10,000 refugees in the next five years, people were shockingly in outrage. With this new goal released from Starbucks, people threatened to boycott the coffee chain and backlash towards the company through social media. The backlash mostly consisted of people's frustration on Starbucks' behalf for not making veteran jobs their priority, although they plan to hire 10,000 American veterans by the end of 2018 and have already hired over 8,000. 
Starbucks announced this plan opposing Donald Trump's ban on travel to America from seven, seven Middle Eastern countries. Even with the heavy outrage put onto Starbucks, the company is still confident for their new plan. The Oakland Raiders have taken the next step for the relocation to Las Vegas. Owner Mark Davis has stated that he is fully committed to moving his franchise to Las Vegas. The Raiders team owner has filled paperwork to have a relocation approved by the Clark County Commissioner. The Raiders require 24 of 32 team owners to approve as well. The move is supposed to be approved by mid to late 2017. This move will bring in millions of dollars to Las Vegas every year if approved. Happiness is healthy. Surround yourself with positive people. Dalai Del Lama says thinking only the negative aspect doesn't help to find solutions, and it destroys the peace of mind. That's all we have for today, Foothill. Catch us tomorrow for another newscast. Have a great day, Falcons.